Sandra. Okay, this is from, from Carson. AFHB crew, thanks as always for a great podcast. I keep hearing building science mentioned, but is that a real academic fail, field? And if not, why? The top hit for building science is Joe's Private Building Science Corporation. Is there a degree in building science? Are there academic conferences devoted to building science beyond trade shows or equivalent fields? If one wanted to get into building science, what field or career path would they follow? When researching programs, I often struggle to find any academic research beyond 20-year-old DOE papers or the occasional Texas A&M publication. Thanks. Carson from Oregon. So uh, where are the building science programs, y'all? Mike, you're nodding. What do you? What did you come up with? Well, I did a search, and yeah, there's some. Um, a lot of them are are not like like a, a, a complete track that you go through university, but it's sort of a, and think of it as a, a parallel track that you do with either architecture or engineering and or physics. Um, construction so management is another uh, management, pairing too. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So you yeah you find those programs that are. You know, you probably take a few courses along with your primary degree, but of course, that's along the college track. Um, there are other tracks that you can take, which are you know, either through the Building Performance Institute or ResNet, um, and those put you into sort of a HERS rating or slash a you know building analyst, build envelope specialist, um, which lead you to doing you know energy modeling um, and just uh, you know evaluating either existing or new home construction uh, buildings um, on the residential side and they also do them on the commercial side so there's a there's, you, you got to scratch a little bit but yeah you'll find some stuff Ryan have you met anyone with a building science degree or uh, post degree postgraduate that degree? That's a good question. Um, I know, like, I would have answered the same way as Mike. I know there's some existing programs out there. I know that they're sometimes tied to construction management programs or or engineering programs, and they're, they're often at the technical institutes like MIT and these these types of places. Um, I, I want to say I might be wrong, but I want to say that Boston College has one. Um, anyway, but the 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 most practical building scientists, in in using the term a little bit more loosely, like Mike referred, Mike Mike said, are are the folks that um, have done you know, often have started as builders or architects and then done these tracks of continuing education through the Building Performance Institute. Um, a lot of the people who have done extensive passive house training, you learn a lot of the building sciences through these types of programs and, you know, through that experience that you get. Um, you know, I think of Randy Williams and Monica Rokiki, who are both fine home building authors and GBA authors. And, you know, they've, they've, be, they've become building scientists by, um, you know, getting these, acquiring these skills to analyze buildings and then the, and then through their experience, you know, solving problems, diagnosing problems in buildings. And that's, that's really how they're, they're learning. And it's, it's, I, I look at it as very practical building science. There's this, you know, the Joe Stebricks and John Straubs of our world. And of course they have a ton to teach us, you know, but folks like Randy and Monica are like in houses every day, finding the problems and giving people a path to fix them. And that's, I think that's, that's, you know, what the in, is going to help the industry and help homeowners and elevate the quality of and health of our homes. I think that you uh, touched on something there, Brian. So if, you know, you want to go into commercial work or institutional work, you know, one of the uh, building science programs paired to architecture is where you want to go. If you want to work on houses, I would say ResNet or BPI and uh, get hands on and get dirty and crawl, crawl around in crawl spaces and see the actual problems of houses. Yeah. yeah uh, Monica was a, you know, she had an architecture degree and she thought she wanted to be a designer and she got into a, a decent sized architecture firm after college. And she, she realized that no one was paying attention to the building science. And uh, it, the way she describes it, she just kind of asked, like, can I take on this role at the firm? And just kind of, and they were like, yeah, and, and just kind of ran with it. Um, you know, and it did that for this firm for a very long time and then decided at some point decided, you know, that there was a whole business opportunity as a consultant. And now she does really well. There's some work. deficiencies in the, you know, many architecture programs, because I hear over and over again from builders who are reviewing plans that things like weather resistant barriers are described as vapor barriers. Uh, you know, like there, there is just clearly uh, not enough understanding on the parts of buildings and how they work together. I'm curious uh, if there are, you know, uh, uh, 
what do you call it? Symposiums. Uh, that's not the word I'm, uh, you know, like academic, uh, 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 groups that present papers and stuff like there are for other disciplines and building science. And I, I haven't heard that. Have you guys heard of something, uh, a conference, I guess is the word I'm looking for of, of building science topics outside of, you know, building science summer camp in the symposiums. Um, yeah. I know that there, there's, there's like, you know, building science corporation publishes papers all the time and RDH, um, which is a West coast, a big West coast building science firm publishes papers all the time. But yeah, uh, I don't know where they're aggregated, like a medical journal, you know, I don't, I don't know that there's that kind of parallel kind of place, like a peer reviewed medical journal that, you know, there seems to be lots of those, but I don't know that there's something similar for building science. Maybe that's Farm something building. Could- yeah, take on as a new editorial director, and uh, you can uh, <laughs> you can initiate a journal which is dedicated to building science research papers that get peer reviewed. I'll think about that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a plug for the brand. I mean, if you want a building science education in residential structures, like you know, get a all access membership and read the decades of uh, content we've produced on the subject with thought leaders in the space and hands-on people too it's probably some of the best money you could spend if you wanted to learn about these things right brian i agree yep <laughs>